All right, boys and girls, this is your old pal Eugene. Well, there's my thumb anyways. Uh, with another video here, hopefully I can uh, help some of you boys and girls with uh, some problems that uh, you may be having with your motorized bike here. Um, a lot of people say to put it, it's real important to put a dab of grease in here to keep these gears lubricated. Well, this here hasn't seen any grease in four Ever. Now I run this bad boy here open and as well some people are going to tell you you need to keep this covered up Well, I've been running this thing open for about oh hell Maybe six years now, so uh, I'm wondering when problems are going to develop and I've I ride this thing quite a bit I mean there's sometimes it sits for months at a time, but uh, There's I crank it up pretty much every day uh, most days in, in that six years and I, I'll go on four or five mile trips. So I got some miles on this here. Um, the problem I think happens here when this gear disintegrates, and they'll, I've seen a few of them, I think it's more of an issue with the casting and the materials in this here than lubrication, obviously, because I'm like I said, I'm, I've been waiting for this thing to go and it, it hasn't, it's not really showing hardly any signs of wear. Um, this here is the crankshaft. Shaft comes through the uh, the case there, and the screw goes on it. You got the bevel gear, and you've got the uh, the woodruff key in it to keep things uh, in in place. Um, there are some issues to where they don't uh, machine the end of the crankshaft correctly, and this gear is too far out, and that it 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 uh, you, you get a bad alignment there. The Woodruff key isn't getting a good bite on the gear, and uh, you'll have some issues there too. So if you're having an issue with the the gear wearing, first off, I would suspect that the problem lies with the casting. And then what you want to do is you want to inspect your shaft and make sure and just inspect and make sure that your gear goes all the way down. If it doesn't, what I did was I filed off, I, I took my angle grinder with a flap disc and I ground off the end of the shaft here and uh, a little bit and uh, until the, the gear would go down and fit like you see it there, then uh, clean out the threads. Uh, I didn't really even have to use a tap to clean out the threads. I just carefully put the, uh, the screw in it and uh, it cleaned the threads. So, uh, no, you don't have to run any grease in there. Um, odds are you're probably not going to get any grease inside of here. But if you've got a lot of grease in there and then you have a leak of your crankshaft seal and you're getting uh, oil and gas out in here, and then, yeah, you'll, you'll fill up your uh, clutch area here, but the area here behind this plate here in the pads and get grease there. So uh, hopefully I've helped somebody out. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. You got the subscribe notifications. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching.